Hello, everybody. My name is Lauren Brin. I'm the Assistant Commissioner of the MIAA, and I'm super excited to be here with Emma Dykhouse from Calvin. Emma, how are you? I am doing well. How about you? Good. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I am a senior at Calvin University, and I am on the women's golf team. What are you studying there at Calvin? I am studying special and elementary education. So describe your time in the MIAA as a student athlete. Like, what do you like about competing in the MIAA? Who are some of your favorite rivalries? Yeah, so the thing I love about the MIA is that it's a very competitive conference. Um, I mean, all the teams there, we all want to win. We're all striving towards the same goal of winning our conference. But I think at the same time, there's a very relational um, aspect of our conference. Um, being golf is a very uh, time extensive sport. So we are spending four to five hours every single time with our competitors. And so um, you really get to know them. They get to know you. Um, and so with that, you start to build relationships. And I think um, we, we have a lot more fun than maybe other conferences do. I know you competed in your first MIAA Jamboree of the season yesterday. Um, how was it competing in that and with a sense of normalcy after such an abnormal season in the spring? Yeah, I mean, it was it was amazing to be back. Ultimately see a lot of people that maybe uh, didn't come after um, COVID or couldn't come because their school shut down. And so um, it was amazing just to be back with them and uh, still see some friends from teams that I had made from last year. So it was good, it was a lot of fun. What hobbies do you have outside of sports? Anything fun that you like to do to kind of take your mind away from school or golf? Um, well, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of all sports. So going to volleyball, soccer, I love to watch football. I'm a big Detroit Lions fan, um, but I love to do water sports, boating, uh, tubing, uh, get coffee with friends. Uh, I love to volunteer my church. I volunteer in the sensory room there. So that's something I really look forward to every Sunday. Your coach mentioned that you interned with the first tee over the summer. Um, explain to me what that organization is and what you did to help out with them. Yeah, so the first tee, what we do is we, um, we teach kids how to golf, um, whether you are a very, very basic beginner or um, maybe someone who's looking into getting into high school golf. Um, so we teach kind of the golf skills, but we also um, try to teach like life values. So um, doing uh, the golf instruction through um, teaching about respect and honesty and just confidence. So those are things that you need on the golf course, but they can take that into real life. And so that's what the organization is all about. I mean, my experience this summer working up in the first tee of Northern Michigan, we like we had both our normal programming, but we also did um, special camps, such as one of my favorites was the spirit camp, where we got to teach um, adults with disabilities how to golf. And so that was the combination of absolutely both my passions. And it was an absolutely amazing time. I had so much fun. I know that you're student teaching this semester. Um, what grade are you working with? I am in a third grade class. Okay. Um, so. You know, who or what inspired you to go into teaching? I don't know if there was ever one specific person that got me into teaching. Um, I think that I had a lot of absolutely wonderful teachers throughout elementary, middle school, high school that just kind of really directed me to it, um, that inspired me that, hey, they really made a difference in my life. And so I would like to make a difference in the lives of other kids. Um, mostly probably in the younger ages, but I had an opportunity in my high school year to kind of volunteer in the um, special ed room and help out the teacher there. And that opportunity kind of just, I loved it so much. That was the one class that I really looked forward to uh, in my day. And I was like, okay, I think that this is the path that, that God is calling me. Do you have like an absolute favorite part about being in the classroom with the students? Oh, I mean, kids are just fun. They <laughs> they make you laugh. Like they are full of energy. Um, but they're also like they're very curious people. They they love to ask questions, and I think that's something that 
as you get older, sometimes you lose. And so just being in a classroom, these kids are coming up with random facts and it's like, man, I didn't know that. So <laughs> I'm learning a lot from them as I hope they're learning something from me. I like to finish the interviews with a fun question. Um, so in relation, to, we'll kind of tie it into your student teaching. If you had to go back and relive any grade that you could, what grade would you choose and why? I would probably go back to like seventh seventh grade um, because we did some really fun science experiments that um, like dissecting a chicken wing, dissecting a shark that at the time I thought was <clears throat> absolutely disgusting. And so I kind of just like closed my eyes, but I think looking back at that now, that was an opportunity that I shouldn't have passed up. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you, Emma, for taking the time to speak with me and best of luck to you and the team this season. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much.